You did all right, son. What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. I'm Brando. <laughs> That's right. I'm Clint. And this is Brewheads. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us on the YouTubes. Yep. And today we have from Stony Creek. Double, double ruffle. ruffle. <clears throat> now I've never had double ruffle. The last Stony Creek I had was their so-called ripe and cranky. Let me read the can to you. Double ruffle, double India pale ale, brewed in CT by Stony Creek. Let's see. With double ruffled, our wings spread wider and the feathers get more ruffled. Luscious, fresh pressed textures first with juicy tropical notes, while a balanced bitterness leads to a clean and crisp finish. Flavors of ripe mango, blueberry, and bright citrus from generous hoppings of El Dorado. So that's like helpings, but with hop. So hoppings. Yeah, El Dorado hoppings. <clears throat> yeah. As caca. That's your favorite that's one. That's my favorite one. <laughs> As a caca. I don't even know. And Mosaic Hops give this surprisingly hazy double IPA a brilliant clarity of flavor. First off, we'll let you know if it's hazy or not. Mother. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah, you don't get to say that. We say. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't lie. I am. You're not excited about this. I at am all. not excited about <laughs> this know. at all. Uh, that last ripe and cranky really ruined it. Like, right? yeah. yeah, this this I hope can uh, bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. What do you think? What do you? What do you think? I, I think he's got so much hatred for them right now. I, this could be the best no. fucking beer he ever has, and he's gonna be like, no, it's fucking garbage. No, I think. <laughs> I am, I am unbiased. I am severely unbiased. If it's crap, it's crap. If it's good, it's good. And I'm hoping it's good. I hate bad beer. So crack it open. Let's see what we got. All right, so it's hazy. Definitely hazy. Yep. Definitely not dirty. It's got a nice haze on it. Yep. So we're going to let you call it hazy. It's not, there's not, there's not a lot of aroma popping. No. I will say no, no, no. That. Kind of flat on the smell. Yeah. But you know what, you kind of do this. I, I, I honestly, can't pick what it smells like. It, I want to say it almost smells like the berry that they're saying, but... Blueberry? Blueberry and bright citrus. I get, I get uh, more of a what, mango? And you know me, I'm not a mango kind of guy. Yeah, I'm a mango guy, but it doesn't smell like mango. <clears throat> it no, says, no, 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 no. Grapefruit, I don't like mango. Oh, grapefruit. No, it, no, it doesn't uh, smell like grapefruit, no. Burst, burst with juicy tropical notes. I don't feel it's bursting, but I am getting some tropical notes. Yeah, right. I can't. Well, let's give it a shot and see what yeah. Mike has to say about it. Oh, you taste the blueberry. It's yeah. Pleasant, it's pleasantly not yeah, that bad. That's that's pretty good. No, that's not bad. And, and it's weird because the blueberry is uh it's like an underlying blueberry. Yeah. So it's like it's it's there throughout the entire bit. But it's it's like No, you do get a blueberry note to it. You don't really get too much of a mango. I don't really No. No. I I feel that if the ripe and cranky had this under layer of pineapple, yeah, we would it, we, yeah, like we discussed, we just think Pineapple forgot to be added to that. Yeah, for real. That four pack, and four that's pack, what we're running yeah, with. Yeah. yeah. But this, I think they did all right. No, this is I, this isn't bad. I like it. I do like it. I I get you know it's. I don't feel it's floral at all. I know with right. a juicy type flavor. Yeah. Um. I feel that. I don't think I've had a lot of beers with um, El Dorado or Azaka. Hops. Mosaic, obviously, yes. You know what? I think we've had beers with. I know we've had it with El Dorado. I know we've had it with that Kaka. Yeah. But yeah. Never, never together. Yeah, never, never together. Never yeah. together. Never together. Never together. But I think this. 
this, I feel that this shows more of the inventiveness we were hoping for in the ripened crank. Yes. Because the ripened cranky was just cranky. There was no right. Yeah. No, 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 no. But right. You were cranky. Yeah. <laughs> he was ripe and. What the fuck is this? Whose ass didn't I kiss? And cranky. I was so cranky. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think it was because of the excitement that you. You had yeah, before. you know what? I I had some excitement for right. that. And the, the can depicted something that you didn't find in the can. Yeah, it wasn't in there. Yeah, it's like it's like anything. You know, you go out and you buy a movie, and it's supposed to be the best movie out there, and you watch it, and you're like, what the fuck yeah. is this? Just, All right, let's, let's yeah, let's give it a number. Let's give it a number. Mike, we'll start with you. Three five. Three five. Wow. Three five. So Mike's showing his complete unbiased, which yeah. is nice. It's Good. a three five because um. The flavor is there, it, and actually what is written on the can is what's there. Right. Now, which is a big change for, for me, I don't know, maybe because, you know, we, we actually, we've been doing a whole bunch of things today, so the temperatures of the beer are yeah, quite yeah, right. So maybe it's um just because of that, the flavor just, eh, a little bit, but it it's not bad. But it's, it's the, it is an aggressively laid back beer. Yeah. It's not like, it's not flavor punching me, but I think it might yeah. just happen to be because of the temperature of the beer. Hmm. It's just, it's it's just a little bit warmer than what it should be. I'm going to go with a three. Um, I like their flavor. I like the, what they brought to the table in this. I like that what I'm reading is, on the can is in the glass. Um, but to me, personally, their inventiveness has peaked with Big Crank. And I like the ruffled feathers. I like the double ruffled feathers. But Big Cranky to me, from Stony Creek, is is the height. Um, that's just my palate. But I felt that was more dangerous and inventive than double ruffled. Yeah, the Big Cranky was uh, pretty good. Now the only thing I haven't had, which is supposed to be like one of the better ones, is the Crankenstein. Right. right. That's the one that's supposed to be, you know, top of the pecking order. With at least that's if you read the uh, social, social medias. medias. Yeah. So, you know what? We'll grab that when we can. We'll yeah. try that. We'll give yeah. you the, another unbiased and then, opinion. And actually, you know, with this kind of comeback, I'm willing to see what else they have because Ripe and Cranky, that was almost yeah, that was, I, that was almost washing my hands right there. Yeah. That. What's your uh, what's your score? Uh, I'll go with three. Pretty fair rating for yeah. a comeback. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's our opinion of the uh, double, double ruffle, ruffle feather Stony Creek. Uh, let us know if you've had it. Where do you think? Yeah. It. Do you feel Big Cranky is not as good as this? Do you like double ruffle better? Do you like ruffle better? You know, do you like that Red and Cranky? And did you get one with pineapple? <laughs> Please let us know in the Please comments. Let Please let us know. Maybe we'll retry it if you got one with actual pineapple in it. Pretty sweet. Let us know. Um, make sure you check us out on all the social medias. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our you wonderful faces. You don't want to miss this. For real. And we'll check you on the next one. Cheers.